Okay, in this video we are going to talk about finding the tangent line to an accumulation function and that's a function that um, has an integral in its definition and it's really just applying the fundamental theorem and the second fundamental theorem so it's a pretty good thing to get good at. So let's take a look at the problem. So we are given that f of x is equal to x plus, here's the integral, the integral from negative 3 to x squared of g of t dt and we want to find the tangent line at x equals 3. We're also given the graph of g of t. Um, also, sometimes you're told that's the graph of g of x um, or just the graph of g because that variable right there doesn't really matter as long as it's to the first power. Um, so g of t is what we're calling it. All right, so to write the equation of a tangent line, we need a point and we need the slope. So I'm going to start off by finding um, the point. So it's going to be at x equals 3, so I need to find f of 3. So f of 3 is going to be, so first thing is don't forget to substitute for um, x. So it's going to just be 3 plus the integral from negative 3 to, we're uh, replacing every x we see with 3, so 3 squared is 9. So it's actually the integral from negative 3 to 9 of g of t dt. And that's where the graph comes in initially. So um, to find uh, f of three, I actually need to find the you know the the signed area, the accumulation from negative three to nine. So I need to evaluate this definite integral. So I'm going to do that geometrically. So first region here, um, that's half of a rectangle. So that's just going to be one, and it's positive because we're above the x-axis. The next region you can break up into um, a lot of little pieces and overall, so you might have wanted to pause the video or rewind and pause the video and find that area for yourself. But when you figure it out, you'll get negative 12.5. So negative because we're below the x-axis. And then this next region also breaks up really nicely um, if you look at it, because remember, we're only going to nine, we're not actually going to 10. So um, that's a place you could kind of stumble on this. So we're stopping there at 9. That region breaks up really nicely, and um, it has an area of 6, positive because we're above the axis. And so overall, our integral will be the sum of these signed areas. So f of 3 is going to be 3 plus. Um, we have a 1, a 6, and then a minus 12.5. And if you add all of that up, we get that f of 3 is negative 2.5. So that's our point. So the point that we're dealing with is 3 comma negative 2.5. Next thing we need to do is we need to find the slope. So to find the slope, I need to find f prime of x. So f prime of x, don't forget there's just this random x kind of hanging out outside of the integral. So first I need the derivative of x, which is 1 plus. Now I need to take the derivative of our accumulation. So um, this is going to involve the second fundamental theorem of calculus because the upper bound is a variable. So I look at the upper bound, it's x squared. I'm gonna replace every um, variable that I see in the integrand, the variable is t, so I'm gonna replace every t I see with x squared, but there's only this, so first I'm just gonna write g of x squared. Then I go back to the upper bound, which is x squared, and I'm gonna multiply by the derivative of that. So that's really the chain rule um, kind of taking place. So we get 2x there. So that's our derivative. Now I want to evaluate that at three. So f prime of three is going to be one plus g of nine times six, right? Because two times three. I'm going to go to the graph of g to figure out what g of nine is. So you just go along the x-axis to nine, you go up to the function, and you get that point right there. Um, so that's at four. So f prime of three is going to be one plus four times six which is definitely 25. And so now I know the slope is 25. I know the point is 3 comma negative 2.5. So I can write the equation of the tangent line. So that was the entire point of this is to find the tangent line. So I'm going to use point slope form because that's the easiest thing to do. So it's y minus negative 2.5 is 25 and then the quantity x minus 3. But I don't really like that minus negative. So I'm actually going to rewrite that. I almost never distribute these. The only time I really care about distributing this, um, you know, and solving for y and whatever, is on a multiple choice question where I have to match the form. Frequently on the AP exam, they like to put those in standard form anyway, where x and y are on the same side. It's really annoying, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, all right, 
So this is a really good example of an accumulation function where you have to use the fundamental theorem and the second fundamental theorem at the same time. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.